Hi guys, in this video we're going to do a real basic introduction to encryption and decryption of messages and we're going to use Excel to do this, okay? So this is uh, good for anyone who wants to improve their Excel skills and also good for anyone who's just interested in learning about encryption, okay? So just to see basically how how this stuff is done uh, in the real world it is far more complicated so don't uh, go, if you're an expert watching this video this is not a video for you okay so let's nevertheless you're gonna learn a lot of stuff and we're gonna use nested functions including nested VLOOKUP functions so for people who want to learn about Excel this is a great example to follow along to get some advanced technique okay so basically here we have the alphabet okay and we're going to decrypt a message hello I mean encrypt it using ciphertext technique which we're gonna do here and then we're gonna decrypt it and hopefully get back to hello okay and we're gonna use formulas to do all this but before we get into any of that let me explain what's going on so here are the alphabet and the numerics column here is just the first letter A is 0, second letter B is 1, all the way on down to Z is 25. So there is 26 letters, but since we're starting from 0, there are 25. And that just counts them off. The translated numeric, that should be numeric column here, is basically based on a translation factor which the user will define. So here, if we put 0, which, is the, which means that the translation factor is 0, there will be a one-to-one -one correspondence between numeric column, column A, and column C. Right? They're the exact same column. And that way, this uh, encryption would actually result in null encryption. There would be the encryption would just repeat hello, right? So there will be no encryption. So we can select an, a translation factor between 0 and 25. 0 meaning no encryption and up to 25 which would mean that Z would become A and so on. But we can choose anything in between. Let's say 3. Okay. Now if I hit enter you'll see my new translated numeric column here actually st instead of starting from 0 now starts from 3 which is the translation factor goes all the way on up to 25 and then starts back again at 0 1 and ends at 2 okay so we're going to use this column and actually all three of these columns to in first encrypt encrypt this plain text message of hello that we've got here okay the way we do that is with a nested vlookup function Okay, so equals VLOOKUP. Let's do this in stages. We'll do the internal VLOOKUP function first. If you're not familiar with VLOOKUP functions, be sure to watch my video, which has gotten over oh, close to 200,000 views on VLOOKUPs. Okay, I'll put a link at the bottom in the description and maybe in this video as well. So you can open it up in a new tab and watch that before you get into this heavy duty. Okay, so VLOOKUP. What do we want to look up? Well, we want to look up the H. Where do we want to look it up? Well, we want to look it up over here in this table. And I would usually hit F4 over here, but since F4 is another functionality in my screen capture software, I'm going to have to manually put in the dollar signs. And I hope you know why I'm doing that. I'm locking the table, right? Again, if VLOOKUPs are new to you, please watch the VLOOKUP video. I'll definitely link it in right here, okay? So, and then come back to this. And if you understand VLOOKUPs, sorry, but uh, every now and then I just do have to plug that because people uh, will get completely lost, okay? So, third argument, two, because when I find the letter H, I want it to get me the translated numeric number 10, okay? comma false 
meaning exact match. And if I just hit enter here, I should get the number 10, which means it found H and it gave me 10, as it should have. But I don't want 10. I want the message to be translated into uh, another alphabet, an encrypted alphabet. So I will go back in. I will go in front of this VLOOKUP function, and I will type another VLOOKUP function. This time, the, v, the, the v lookup value is actually that number 10. So this VLOOKUP is the, v, is the lookup value in this other VLOOKUP function that we're doing outside this, the nested VLOOKUP. Okay? When it finds, and we know what already what it will find when it's H, it finds, finds 10. When it finds H, first of all, where do we want it to look for 10? Well, we want it to look for it in this table over here, which starts with the numerics column. And let me manually again lock this table, because uh, F4 for me is, is something else. So I have to manually type in that comma, when you find number 10, when you find this guy over here, whatever this produces, which we already previewed and we saw it was 10, what do you want? Well, I want you to give me the alphabet again. So that will be column 2. And then again, false for exact match. Close the parentheses, hit enter, and we get K. Now let's follow that before we move on. So it looked up H first, and it gave me 10. Then, that was the internal VLOOKUP. Then, it looked up 10 over here and gave me K. So that's what happened. That's step one, and then this is step two. Okay? This one was inside this one. Okay? So this one was nested. Okay? Inside this one. And that's how we get K here. All right. So now moving back, moving along, we can just simply slide this formula over because we've locked the appropriate tables, fill without formatting. And now this is our encrypted message. So hello has been encrypted to core. Okay. No meaning whatsoever. Right. Now we want to get back and decrypt this message in order to read it. Now, email systems use this a lot, and all kinds of message systems uh, try to provide a secure encryption so that people can intercept messages and steal information, right? Credit card companies, oh, everywhere. Security is a big, big thing, and this field is incredibly complicated and uh, with high-level mathematics. But our example is fun, it's a good introduction, and it's definitely edifying, okay? So now let's convert this ciphertext encrypted message back into hello hopefully over here okay so the way we do that I've actually made a table on the right and this one I've called the decryption table which is basically this alphabet column and the numerics and translated column in reverse Okay, so you see the translated col numeric column is actually the first column here, and the numerics column is the third column. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this formula. So V lookup, this time we're going to look up the K, and where are we going to look it up? We're going to look it up here. We have to lock that table, so I manually put in the dollar signs. Comma, when you find the K, I want you to give me the second column as my result, false for exact match. So we should get the number 10 again. This time, we're going to nest the one we just created in another VLOOKUP. Our lookup value is the first VLOOKUP, comma, this time in the, this table, starting with the translated numeric column. Let's Block this table, comma, two to give me the second column, comma, false. Close parentheses and we should get H. And we do. Look at that. So, what happened here? Well, it looked up K over here in this column, right? Found K and then it gave me 10. 
Then it took 10, looked for it in this column, found 10, and then gave me H. Okay? And this formula is a robust formula, so we can drag it over to the right, and we should get hello. Voila, we do. And so we were successful in first encrypting this message and then decrypting it back to the plain text using the nested VLOOKUP function, a translation factor of three, and just these two basic tables. We were able to do this on our own in Excel. So I hope this was uh, fun, maybe informative, um, and also for those of you who want to improve your Excel skills, definitely one of the rare times that I've used a nested VLOOKUP function, but definitely I'm sure people use this a lot. So very useful. Okay, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have uh, almost 100 videos on Excel, Access, PowerPoint, and Mathematics. Be sure to share, comment, and practice, practice, practice. Have a great day. Thanks a lot for watching.